AZA accredited zoos and aquariums recognize that all life on Earth is part of one interconnected system. Animals, plants, and humans are all affected by changes in our environment, and one of the biggest challenges we face today is climate change. So you might wonder, what's causing the climate to change? It's simple, really. You probably know that regular carbon dioxide, or CO2, is released into the air when animals exhale, and that it is then absorbed by plants to help them grow, and oceans to help them maintain their life-sustaining chemical balance. But we are also adding CO2 to the air when we burn coal or oil for electricity, or gas to power our cars. We call this rampant CO2 because there is too much of it being produced. Rampant CO2 is building up in our oceans and disrupting nature's balance. Rampant CO2 is also building up in our atmosphere, where it surrounds our planet and acts much like a blanket which traps heat. As we add more and more CO2, it increases the heat-trapping blanket effect, resulting in climate changes that are already affecting us and many species of animals, even those that can be found near you. For instance, did you know that the delicate balance of nature in the southwest region is being disrupted by climate change? Burrowing owls are one example of a species being affected right now. Warmer temperatures add more energy and moisture to storms, so extreme weather events are becoming more frequent and severe due to climate change. Heavy rains can flood and destroy the underground nests where burrowing owls live. Also, during long periods of rainy weather, adult burrowing owls sometimes fail to bring enough food to their chicks and the owlets can starve. But it's not too late to act responsibly to head off the issues facing our environment. We know that the majority of Americans are concerned about climate change, but many feel overwhelmed by it or think they're too busy to address it. Fortunately, it doesn't take a lot of effort to protect wildlife if we work together. Did you know that more than 180 million people like you visit AZA accredited zoos and aquariums each year? That's more than the annual attendance of all professional sporting events combined. If all of us start by sharing our concerns with friends, families, and coworkers, we can find ways to turn concern into positive change action. In communities across the country, people are joining together to create systems that make it easier to curb CO2 emissions. For example, we know that more than one-third of our CO2 emissions comes from using energy to produce, transport, and dispose of the food we eat and the goods we use. The Blue Lake Rancheria, a federally recognized tribal government in Blue Lake, California, began its Strategic Climate Action Plan in 2008 and is a regional leader in thinking ahead and taking sensible steps to change the way energy is used, which is the key to addressing climate change. By moving away from energy sources that add heat-trapping gases to our atmosphere and toward sources such as biodiesel, and by getting serious about energy efficiency, Blue Lake Rancheria has reduced energy consumption by a remarkable 35 percent. They're not stopping there. They have committed to reducing the emissions of rampant CO2 even more. When local people join together to support system-wide change, it becomes fun and easier for everyone to reduce their CO2 emissions. We hope you will connect with those in your social circles to increase the conversation about climate change and find creative ways to protect people and animals that share our home.